The topic for today is how to upload videos to YouTube. First, search for YouTube on Google. Press Enter. Click on YouTube. Click on Account. Click on YouTube Studio. After clicking, the dashboard will appear. From the dashboard, there are three options for uploading videos. The first option is Create. Click on Create. Click on Upload Videos. From here, the Upload Video option will appear. Click Close. Second, click on the Upload Video option. From here, the same option will also appear. Click Close. The third option is the Upload Video option. Click on Upload Videos. From here, the same option will also appear. Click on Select Files. Select Video. Click Open. After clicking, it will start uploading videos. Next, the Video Details option will appear. At the bottom of the window, you can see the video's upload status. Next, you have to provide the title of your video. Since I already prepared the title example for the demonstration, let's copy the title. In your case, you have to write the title of the video. Let's paste the title details here. The next option is Description. In this option, you have to write description of your videos. For example, I have already prepared my description. Let's copy the description and paste it. In your case, you have to prepare your own description. The next option is a thumbnail. Click on the upload thumbnail. After clicking, it shows a message that you have to verify your phone number to access this feature. Since I made this channel for demonstration purposes, click close and let YouTube make a thumbnail automatically. The next option is a playlist. Click on select. Here, you can see that no playlist has been created. Click on create playlist. Click on the new playlist. After clicking Create, a new playlist window will appear. Provide a title for your playlist. Also, you can write the description of the playlist and set its visibility. Click on Create. After clicking, your playlist will be created automatically. Select the playlist where you want to upload the video. Click Done. Here, you can see generated thumbnails from your video automatically. From these options, you can select your thumbnails. And if you don't want to use auto-generated thumbnails, you can upload your customized thumbnail. For the time being, let's use an auto-generated thumbnail. The next option is Audience. If your video is mainly made for kids, you have to select the first option, otherwise, you have to select the second option. Click on Show More. After clicking on Show More, you'll get Advanced Video Uploading Settings. The first option is a paid promotion. If your video contains any kind of product placement or sponsorship, you can select this option. Next are the automatic chapters and key moments. With this option, YouTube will create automatic video chapters. You can select this option as per your requirements. The next option is to allow automatic place. These options will help viewers explore key places in your video. The next option is to allow automatic concept. These options will help you with unfamiliar terms without leaving the video. The next option is Tags. This option is mainly helpful for reaching your videos by YouTube search. For example, I have already prepared some tags. Let's copy the tags and paste them. In your case, you have to prepare your own tags. In the Tag option, you have a limit of 500 words. The next option is Language and Caption Certification. Here, you can select your video language. Click on Select. Scroll down and select your language. For example, I am selecting English India. Next is recording date and location. Click on the recording date. Select your date. In the location option, you can give the location of the video. Next is the license. In the license option, you have two options. The first is a standard YouTube license. The second is Creative Commons attribution. Select the standard YouTube license. Next is allow embedding and publish to subscription feed and notify subscribers. Tick both options. The next option is shorts remixing. From here, you can allow people to use your video to create shorts. Next is a category. This option defines your video category. Click on the category. Here, you can see the different types of category options that are available. For demonstration purposes, click on how to and style. In your case, you have to select your video category. The next option is comments and ratings. From here, you can select how you want to show comments. Next, sort by. Here, you can select your comments to be sorted by top or newest. The next option will show you how many people like your video. Put a tick on the option. Click on Next. After clicking, it will enter the Video Elements option. The first option is Video Subtitles. 
From here, you can add your subtitle. Click on Add. From here, you'll get three options. First, you can upload your subtitle files. Click on Upload Files. After clicking, you will get two options. The first option is with timing. The second is without timing. You can select your options. Click Cancel. The next option is Auto Sync, which will sync your subtitles automatically. Click on Auto Sync. From here, it will sync your subtitles automatically. Click on Done. After clicking, it will start synchronizing your subtitles. If you want to delete your subtitle, click on the three dots. Click Delete. The next option is to add an end screen. From here, you can add another video reference to the end of the video. Click on Add. In the Element option, you can select your end screen style. Let's scroll down. Here, you can select different types of end screen options, like one video or one subscriber, two videos, etc. Let's click on one example. After clicking the end screen, an editing window will appear. From the timeline option, you can select the duration of your end screen video and subscriber logo. Let's drag the timeline of the subscribe arch motion. Next, drag the timeline of the video. From the video elements option, you can select which video we want to add at the end of the screen. From there, you can select most recent uploads. Best for viewer or choose a specific video. For example, select the best for viewer. Click on save. The next option is to add cards. This option will help you promote related content during the video. Click on add. After clicking, a card editing window will appear. In the bottom, you can see the timeline where you can specify your card's timing. From the top, you can add a video playlist or a channel. Let's click on the video. Since the channel has no video, it is not showing any option to add video. Click close. Let's adjust a timeline. Click on the playlist. Select your playlist. If you want to add more than one card, select the timing of the card. Click on Add Cards. Click on the playlist. Select the playlist. After selection, you can see it's showing an error. Since a similar card cannot be used twice. Select the second card. Press Delete. Click on Save. Click on Next. Next is the Copyright Check option. Here, YouTube will analyze your video for any copyright violations. If there is any copyright violation, it will be shown here. Since the video does not contain any copyright violations, it is showing a green tick. Click on Next. After clicking Next, the next option will appear as Visibility. From here, you can make your video private, unlisted, or public. In the Public option, you can set this as an instant premiere. The next option is to schedule your video publishing timings. Click on Schedule. Click on the calendar. From here, you can select which date you want to publish your video. Select a date. Next, you can select your time. From here, you can also set your video as a premiere. After all the settings are over, click on Schedule. After clicking, your video was uploaded successfully. Here you can see it is showing when your video is going to be published and also the video link. Click Close. Here you can see the dashboard showing nothing because the video is not published, without publishing, it will not appear in the dashboard. Click on the content. From here, you can see that your video is scheduled. So in this process, you can upload a video to your YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and share our videos for more interesting topics.